Machine learning, machine learning, machine learning, machine learning, machine learning, machine learning, the most important thing humanity has ever worked on. Hello all, welcome to Data Science 360. Before we look at what machine learning is, let's see why we want machines to learn. In the classical way of programming, a computer relies on set of rules to execute a certain task. For example, in Google search, if you type in Giants, should it show you the San Francisco Giants or the New York Giants? A few years ago, this is how Google search worked. There were a bunch of rules that were part of the search engine code base to decide which sports team to show a user. If the query is Giants and the users in the Bay Area show them results about San Francisco Giants. If the user is in the New York area, show them results about New York Giants. If they're anywhere else, show them results about tall people. This is just for one query. Multiply this by the large varieties of queries that people make, and you can imagine how complex a whole code base had become. This is where the classical approach fails, and machine learning comes into picture. Machine learning is basically a mathematical approach, where the system analyzes the data for certain patterns, and the trick is that the system figures out on its own. Machine learning scales better because it's automated. Google keeps track of the links people actually clicked on, and this data is used to train a machine learning model so that it could do the search ranking. Machine learning has already extended into so many aspects of daily life. Recommendation engines at Netflix and Amazon are canonical examples of machine learning in retail. Voice assistants such as Apple Siri, Amazon's Alexa, self-driving cars, Google Maps, and many other applications. How do machines learn? Machine learning is based on algorithms that can learn from data without relying on rules-based programming. Every machine learning algorithm is a mathematical function that needs to be tuned according to the input data so it can make predictions for data that it has not seen before. Let's look at an example to understand it better. Here we have a data set with years of experience and income. This is how it looks when we plot that in a graph with x and y axis. Now the problem is to predict the income for the x values that is not in this data. But how do we do it? We can simply draw a line that can pass through these points and find the income for unknown x values. Sounds simple, right? But the problem is we can draw many such lines that can pass through these points and we have to find the best fit line. Here is the equation of a line, y equals mx plus c. Do not freak out, if you don't know mathematics, this is going to be a simple overview. In this equation y is the income, x is the experience and m and c are the slope and intercept. We need to adjust m and c so it becomes best fit line. How does machine do it? Gradient descent. It is an optimization algorithm used for minimizing the cost function in various machine learning algorithms. Machine starts by taking a random value for n and c and draws a line. It then finds the square of difference between the actual value and the line for each point in the graph and adds them. Machine keeps doing it for a multiple values of m and c until sum of square distance reaches a minimum point. And then it stops. Now this is the best fit line, we finally have an equation, tuned according to the input data. Now we can pass any x value that is not in the original data, and we will get the prediction. Based on how we train a model, and the data available, there are different types of learning. Supervised learning. It is a way of teaching the algorithm, by giving it a lot of labeled data. During its training phase, the system is fed with labeled data sets which instruct the system what output is related to each specific input value. The trained model is then presented with new data so it can make predictions. Unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, the algorithm is given unlabeled data as a training set. Unlike in supervised learning, there are no correct output values. The algorithm determines the patterns and similarities within the data. They are able to function freely in order to learn more about the data and find interesting patterns. Unsupervised learning is popular in applications of clustering. Reinforcement learning. It is a way of training the machine learning models to make a sequence of decisions. The computer employs trial and error to come up with a solution to the problem. 
the machine gets either rewards or penalties for the actions it performs. Its goal is to maximize the total reward. It's up to the model to figure out how to perform the task to maximize the reward, starting from totally random trials and finishing with sophisticated tactics and superhuman skills. Thank you for watching. You are amazing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video. Stay tuned for more amazing content.